If we look at our surroundings, there are ample living and non-living substances present, right? Who made these substances? Humans or nature? How can we distinguish them? What is the thin line of difference that tells us the origin of a particular substance? Let's focus on how we can distinguish them. In our surroundings, the substance we see can be broadly classified into two categories. One is human or man-made and the other one is natural, isn't it? Let's see the clutter again. Some substances are human or man-made while some are natural, isn't it? Can you take a moment and think what are the things we get from nature directly? Animals? Yes, correct. We also get plants, air, soil, water, wood, silk, cotton, etc. from nature. I'm assuming you are also human currently watching this video. Hence, I'll say we created many human-made products as well like nylon, plastic, this beautiful ceramic and whatnot. So let's classify some natural substances in our surroundings. A vegetable bowl in our daily meal has natural substances in it. These were all alive at some point of time, right? So the substances which we gain from living things are called biotic substance. Other natural products such as leather, jute, wool and cotton can also be classified as biotic substances. Here, jute and cotton are obtained from plants, so they have plant origin. And on the other hand, we obtain leather, wool from animals. So these come from animal origin. It's quite a breeze today, which reminds me of the air. Air along with water, soil and metals are abiotic substances since they are not obtained from living organisms. For man-made things, we have plenty around us. From this chair to table, sofa, dining table, umbrella, since it's raining these days, raincoat, your school bags, book covers, television sets, laptops, refrigerator, air conditioner, thermocol and so on are all made by humans. So today we have seen some natural and man-made substances in our daily use. Stay tuned for more videos coming up. Thank you.